you can embed a video right into one of your It's Learning pages by using the Rich Content block. As shown here, the participants can play the video without leaving your It's Learning page. I'm going to add another video here in my other resources and information block. Um, this is a rich content block. So when I choose my edit button, you can see here is the information that's currently in the block. Um, and this iframe represents the video which we just saw. So if I want to add a video underneath that, I'm going to go ahead and click off of the, after the iframe and just hit an enter and I'm going to type the um, new video name which is called Embedding Video Using Web 2.0. And here I want to go ahead and insert the next video. Now notice I don't have an insert button, which is normally how you would insert the Web 2.0 content. Uh, so what I have to actually do is embed the code. Uh, to do that, I need to click this source button. This source button will transfer form this to a HTML block. So when I go ahead and click that, you can see now you, you're seeing codes. Um, and right up, this is the code right here for the um, video that's already there. So here I put embedding video using Web 2.0. I'm going to click right underneath that and I'm going to put my embed code for the next video. To get my embed code, I'm going to come right over here to YouTube. And here's the video that I'd like to embed. If I scroll down a little bit, there's a share button here. When I click that, I get the URL code, but what I really need is the embed code. Okay, so this is a YouTube video, but you will see this um, met in many um, video types. If you just look for the share button, there's usually a word for embed where you can find that code. All right, so now that I have the code there, I'm going to do Control C to copy it. I'm going to come back over to its learning, and uh, I got my cursor where I want the code to go, and I'm going to just going to do Control V as in Victor. We'll paste it. And you can see that this is the code to embed that video. Now, in this embed code, you have a width and a height. You can change those if you'd like. So I see that the video above has a width of 475 and a height of 312. So I'd like to make them match. I'm going to go ahead and change my width on this to 475. And I'm going to change my height to 312. Now, if I click Source again, you can see here's the original iframe from the video that was already there. And if I scroll down, here's the second iframe for the video I just embedded. Now I can go ahead and uh, format my text. And again, um, the iframe is shown. If I want to go back to the code, I just click the source again. And I can update it or I can delete it. I can change my width if I would like to change it again. If I'm unhappy with this video and I just want to delete it altogether, I can either go to the source and delete it there, or if I click after the iframe and just backspace, you can see the iframe was just deleted. I'm just going to go ahead and put it back in here. Control V. I have the width at 475 and the height at 312. My source, you can see that it's there. Let's choose OK. And here we go. Here's the original video, and here is the new video that I just embedded, um, embedding video using Web 2.0.